Alrighty, so the first thing that we are going to do is a chest press. Now Linda has already wrapped it around her body like so. Um, actually, go ahead and start with uh, with 20 repetitions. Um, basically, if you look at how she's doing this, keeping a nice pace, chest up, butt out. There we go. Perfect, my friend. So anyway, today what I'm gonna be showing you guys is actually what a whole body workout looks like in continuum from transition. We're gonna do it in a circuit fashion, meaning we're gonna work from one exercise to another. We're gonna do actually doing uh, push, pull, completely balanced. That's, I can't say how important that is. So many people do a bunch of exercises and think they're training correctly. But that's, that's not, that's, that's, they can actually do it more harm than good if you don't actually create muscular balance. It's very important to create muscular balance. Working equal planes, pushing and pulling in equal effort and growth and development. What number is that, Linda? Well, I figured it probably was. All right, do you remember the row? What you do in the row position? Oh, that's right. Sit down, wrap it around your feet. Now again, as far as resistance goes, there's like a zillion different in, like infant, like, absolutely a million ways we can do this. So what she's gonna do is grab a little bit of the rope, she's gonna lean back slightly, keep her posture, chest up, butt out. Maybe take her feet a little farther away from her. Yeah, right, yeah, that works. Now slightly lean forward, but keep your, ch your static arch, your chest up and butt out. Now pull right to your armpits, beautiful. Now what she's, oh, I should say earlier with her chest press, she was wor working her pectorals, her anterior deltoids, and her triceps. She was also working stabilizers too, but that's not important right now. We're talking about the main muscle groups. This is the complete opposite of that. This is working your rear delt, your biceps, your rhomboids, your lats, pretty much everything in your posterior chain of your upper body. It's also working your forearms and some other stuff too. So between those two, those, what I talked about earlier, having a scientifically balanced muscular balance routine, equalizing our pushing and our pulling in a horizontal plane. Very important stuff. So with each repetition, Linda, because she's such a good student, is obviously squeezing her shoulder blades in between each repetition. How many reps is that, Linda? 17. I thought it was real close. <laughs> 18, 19, and 20. Now, the next thing that we are going to do is the side lateral or upright row. So stand up, wrap only one of those uh, cords around your feet like so gosh my hand like so there we go now what she's going to do is do, uh, her hands are in an overhand over position knuckles up she's going to raise that core that band right up to about chin level that is perfect now this actually with your hands in this position it works your anterior deltoid but it also works your medial deltoid much like doing kind of like a side lateral it's also working your upper back, but uh, our prime mover here is the medial head of your deltoid. How are you doing, Linda? Eight. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you're, very, you're doing very good. You look great on camera, by the way. You should know that. <laughs> this is going to serve, as I send this to your email, it's going to serve you to be able to remember what you're doing today. <laughs> Good. 20. That is 20. Now you can take a second or two, but the next thing that we are going to do is a uh, bicep, or I'm sorry, a tricep push down. Do you remember how to do this? This one where you wrap it over the top of your head, like with both bands around your head. Let's see this. So both bands, you can do it that way too. But what I want you to do is if you're gonna do that, grab about midway up, about right about here on the band, higher, higher, higher on your hands. A little bit higher, a little, right there. Now, from that position, you basically just do a tricep push down. That is it, right there. If you feel this is on your neck a little bit too much, you can you can do this. You can wrap this around a piece of furniture or a, something above your head. And again, you can make the ver you can make the uh, resistance more by grabbing both parts of the band or more of the band if she wanted to. Um, 
uh, the key here though is that full contraction and hold for a split second, which Linda is doing. Um, and don't don't kid yourself; these things add up, especially in a circuit, and especially um, if you concentrate. The, con the the key to really any exercise, but specifically with this band, is really concentrate on the muscle that you're working. Concentrate on how the muscles feel while you're working them. Um, really be in the moment with each repetition. What number is that, Linda? I thought it was real close. 19 and one more. 20. Now, keeping with our vascular balance, the next exercise, we just did a pull with your elbow, right? Or a push with your elbow. So we're going to do a pull with your elbow, which is bicep curls. Do you remember this one where it wraps? Oh, it's just, that's so good. You're so smart. You are such a good student. You have been a good student your whole life pretty much, haven't you, Linda? Oh, I'm a pretty good <laughs> You were exactly the girl I would cheat on and I'd sit next to in school, I think. Yeah. Pretty <laughs> Oh, I, I love that about you, Linda. All right, so this is a bicep curl. Again, very simple, very basic. You can make this harder. You can change, yeah, you can pronate, you can supinate your hands. That just means twisting your hands. What she has chose to do is a neutral position. I think that's probably the safest, um, but you can play around with that. That's not important. You can do an overhand. Each one works a slightly different part of your bicep. This is probably the most functional and fundamental of all of them. That noise you guys hear in the background is uh, is the heater right there. It's kind of loud, but uh, it's heat, and so we don't complain. Sorry about the I mean, This is on my phone, obviously, so... There's not going to be, you know, it's not going to be perfect. But I just wanted to get this out to you guys so you can actually do the circuit at home. 20. All right, now, do you remember what's next? It's okay if you don't. I know I just got done telling you. The one that hurt, yeah, the one that, yes. So we're going to do a pull apart next. So go ahead and take a, yeah, just like that. You're going to take the band out in front of you with both hands and pull it apart. Now, what this works, that is perfect, and you can take more or less of the band, you'll, you'll, you'll play around with this. It's actually not as important as what you concentrate on. So if she was to grab closer with her hands, it would be more resistance, which is not necessary. Where she's feeling this is going to be right between her shoulder blades. This is a great postural exercise. It's called a pull apart. There's a lot of different names for it. But what, what this is the one exercise that you should do with the band, even if you have a full set of weights. This works better for your postural muscles, the middle of your shoulder blades, your rhomboids, than probably any other exercise ever created. And Linda will attest to that, I am sure. Oh, I know. You're doing such a great job not swearing. <laughs> yeah, that's right, the good, oh yes you do. <laughs> yes you do. But you're right, probably not on film. <laughs> Nice job, sweetheart. You are doing so good. That is 20. So the next thing you are going to do are squats on the bench. Do you remember those? Well, you sit down first, and then you wrap both. Actually, so and, uh, that's good, but you want it to be harder. So you want to wrap both parts of the band around your feet like so. There you go. Now, the way that she had set up originally is fine. That's fine. But she's pretty strong. And so I want her to have a little bit more resistance. So we ended up just taking more of the band, right? So um, Linda's a pro at these, but she's going to do chest up, butt out. Static arch is very important. Uh, if I was to go from the side, you would see that Linda's knee is not coming over her toe. The big myth is that your knee can't come forward at all. Your knee can come forward. It's, it, it, but, the, but also, just as long as your knee isn't in front of your toe. That's the important part. Now, um, what these do with the bands, as you'll see, is they create more resistance as you come up to the top. So as your, as your uh, leverage becomes better and you become stronger, the band creates more resistance. So at the bottom, it's not a lot, but at the top, it's a, it's a lot. And so the way that works is it works really well with the squat because as your leverage becomes better, as your knees become straighter, you're stronger. Well, that's when the tension becomes more.
And again, today we're staying with a full set of 20 of everything. And what I would recommend on a circuit of these is probably going through about three or maybe four circuits. As you can see, this entire circuit has taken about eight, 10 minutes. So if you did three of these, that'd be like 30 minutes worth of work. Now you'd still have to do some floor work and abdominals and I'm, I don't need to bore you guys with that. There's a million different ways to do them. But I would do those probably after the squats as part of the circuit. How you doing, sweetheart? Thank you. Yeah, thank you for this, by the way. <laughs> I would say my pleasure. <laughs> yeah, goody goodies don't lie either, do they? <laughs> All right, thank you, sweetheart. Say bye. Bye. Bye bye. Have a good time. <laughs> Stay safe, everybody.